Hello Aries and welcome to your mid-September to the beginning of October read. Congratulations, you survived a bunch. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much. Aries, this is for a Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts if this resonates with you. Good deal. If not, do not worry about it. After all, it's a card game. Shit won't work if you don't believe when it just boop your nose and here we go. Anyway, we're going to do a looking glass one, so it'll be a bit of a longer spread. But I'm sure you guys don't mind. Hope you all have been doing well. Oh, if you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, Instagram is all down below, of course. Thank you for every kindly for everybody who does come for a reading. First reading, of course, for newcomers is on the house. Everything else comes with a price, and I do accept tips and donations. So, Aries, so far you've got the Hierophant and Strength Reverse, Leo and Taurus. Your thoughts and feelings, right? Six of Pentacles. Trying to get your blessings, but there's a person in the shadows right back there, right? And then we got the Nine of Cups right here in the roots of those feelings. Like, there was a wish fulfillment that came up or something you wish for and you're bored with it or you don't like it anymore. Eight of Wands right here. Prince of Pentacles, Reverse. And the, well, that's Prince of Pentacles. This is Six of Cups, Reverse. Something changing, something moving fast, but an offer isn't being made or delivered, and something about somebody from the past, so maybe you're expecting it from that person. What's your vibration, my dears? Also, cross watchers, if you need to, switch where applicable. You know, decide what it's yours and leave the rest with a grain of salt. All right. The vibration right here is Prince of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Someone ready to start a fight. He's actually dropping his sword on a landmine, being like, I've suffered enough. I don't mind taking you. Let's begin with a bang or some shit. Like, he's got the Batman voice going on. You know, you really don't have a mouth. Anyway, let's see. Aries. <clears throat> I almost want to say, it feels like someone here is like leading the charge to something with the Hierophant. Like, you know, he's the person who's kind of the authority figure when it comes to things in charge, family, community, churches, government, society in general, right? You could be dealing with the Taurus. Have Taurus in your charge or whatever shit, but we also got Leo down here with restriction, right? It's like you're trying to be, it's almost like you're trying to be morally good by restricting your um, B-side, right? Because it's almost like you're in that vibration. Um, your thoughts and feelings getting showered with blessings, but there's somebody in the background about some shit. And the reason for that is because, like, there is some wish fulfillment here that you just feel like, nah, I I'm not cool with this now, right? You don't want something to change, but it seems like something isn't getting delivered the way it should, or it got stalled or whatever. And it has something to do with the past person that's on your brain, right? So with this Hierophant right here, we have the Seven of Swords. Something pro-cultivating and prolific. Could also deal with some sneakeries. Um, coming up with something to be very clever, if you will. Um, because you might feel a little bit insecure financially. And you're trying to gather some information. Page of Swords. Captivation entrance. You're trying to find a way in, I think. Or trying to get some sort of source of information. Might even be snooping just a little bit. Down here with these restrictions, right? With the Strength card reverse. Let's see. I don't think you're coming to any bold decisions. Because you're not exactly restored to your full potential mentally yet. Like, your head might be in a jugger. Uh, possibly full of some delusions and shit, right? That kind of stuff. So what's up with this Hierophant up here? What's his deal? Uh... He's just trying to party. He's trying to have a good time. Trying to enjoy life. 
Uh, but it feels like a little bit down when it comes to the finances for sure. You might feel like you're not where you want to be. Just a tad, but the Wheel of Fortune is moving for you, so... If you were worried about things going, they're gonna go. Like you're rolling over that devil person. Now, the strength card reverse, what's up with it is, you know, you're looking over things and trying to judge them accordingly before you actually do take some action. Um, and I feel like your intuition is telling you not to just jump in the shit, you know? You're actually trying to take your experience and understand it, especially right here at the Six of Cups. Like you're starting to figure things out by being a little bit more patient. Get on you, man proud of you. Sometimes you guys just do shit and then like it's like, oh, well shit. What? That happens. Six of Pentacles right here. Someone's getting blessings and someone's in the background watching them with the thoughts and feelings. Um, you might be, hmm, might have been a little bit controlling Aries because that's your card. Especially with this right here, it's like you're going after this dude who should be bringing you your pentacle or something, and he's not. Page of coins, expression, message, they're delivering that with the uh, knight of swords right here, running directly to that. In order to uh, come out of confusion and misery, right? Just dazed and confused all over, you're trying to run and come out of that. But you might be, but you might feel like you have to end up being a bit too controlling or basically smite a motherfucker, you know? Now, right here, where someone feels like their wish just doesn't do it for them anymore, we have the Knight of Wands, Booty Man card, Shape Shift, Change, just flowing with the energies, trying to get something actually realized right here as well. Uh, when it comes to that coin, trying to take some action to make something happen. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe you're up to trying to change up some plans or whatever. It seems like, like you have to like switch things up a little bit. When it comes to the Six of Pentacles up here. Ah, a tower is avoided. And look at you. You gotta turn around with the Empress. Um, you could be dealing with another Aries, you know. Either that or Libra or Taurus, you know, that Venetian energy. But a tower is avoided with an Empress, so that might be your counterpart or that could be you. Um, and someone might be talking some shit to her. What the fuck? Like, okay, that makes sense. Cool. Not really. Um, how strange. Like... Hmm. A tower is avoided with this empress, and she still ends up talking some shit about changing things, moving forward to things. Like, I don't know. It's like she doesn't have anything nice to say. I mean, or she's ignoring the dude over here because he's coming over like a page, and she's just like, I don't deal with your kind. He said you could approach me. You know, I'm just going to ignore you. You can say whatever you want. I don't care. You know, she's, she's completely unbothered in this. Um, or at least that's what she's demonstrating. But if this uh, page is also her, like, she's demonstrating this, but on the inside she feels like a small child wanting just to throw a fit. She might even be crying and screaming at the same time, but she's not letting anybody know that, too. Mm, but lower, like, you averted the tower, you were successful... But you still got some shit to say to somebody, you know? This uh, Nine of Cups reverse, what's up with it? Someone needs to make some choices, you know? In order to um, get themselves back out of the cold in order to get to that Ace of Pentacles, right? But I feel like someone might take it a little bit too far. Page of Swords reverse. This time, once again. Like, you feel like doing it for the wrong reasons, but I don't think you're going to do it for the wrong reason, Aries. I don't think you would go that far. Like, I mean, you could. I mean, like, when it comes to petty, y'all are the kings of it, you know? But I don't see you trying to do that. Like, I think you're actually taking your time with it when it comes to the, uh, King of Wands. You're definitely judging over everything very accordingly before you go over everything. 
the hell? Alright. Knight of Swords. You are ready to for some action. He's talking shit. He's coming to start a fight so there could be some shit gotten getting or whatever I'm trying to say. I felt something on my face. I don't know. Anchor Essence, this is not. Knight of Coin. You might, like, you might be, or whoever you're dealing with is wanting to go after a art sign for sure. Knight of Coin's over here once again, and the Emperor Reverse was trying to get to that dude, too. Fool, Wanderer, and the Hierophant once again. It's like you want a clean slate when it comes to... Possibly a Taurus. You guys could definitely be dealing with that. Hmm. Let's see. You're definitely looking inside when it comes to this vibration you're in. Like, you definitely want to go after somebody and just... Like, you know, I don't even think you want to fight anybody. I just think you want to have an argument to get it out your system. Because you have, like, the king the king of wands right here, and I feel like he's a lot more cooler with that. That don't mean he don't still got a mouth, you know? And I feel like you just want to tell somebody how you feel. Whether they did something to you or not, I don't know. Um, but you're still not sure about where to go with the entire shit when it comes to options and everything. And you are trying not to be petty and... Yeah, like, you guys actually genuinely have a reason to, um, be feeling this way, I feel like. Like, I think you want to fight this person, but, like, you're you're trying to make sure that you look like an empress and not be childish, I think. Because it could come back at you, you know? Okay, so at the Eight of Wands, you might be wanting things to change rather quickly... Uh, cause you're the Empress Reverse right now, so okay, yeah, you are kind of like, got some mouth going right here, for sure. Um, you're trying to come to some choices that bring some, like, symmetry, some balance in this, you know? But that also requires you not to be very shy and timid when it comes, la la la. If I could talk today, I swear, if it comes right down to it... Well, a book came out. Uh, preserve, endure, Seven of Wands. Like, be able to keep up with that battle and stuff. Then we have the Seven of Cups right here. Wonder Chance, because there are still options available to you. Uh, once again, could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, it could also mean that, like, don't let your desire for mastery narrow your scope. I feel like, because there's potential with that. Plus, the Emperor's out here, too. So, watch out for this energy, because when I see them both, it's never a good sign. Someone's going, like, a little bit overboard when it comes to power and control. So, that could be a warning or about a person you could be potentially dealing with, or you going out of your way to, you know, like, kind of cause things to end in a very hasty and un fashionable matter, you know. Um, your hunger and intent isn't as strong as it is, or at least what you think it is, you know, because you get the night reverse going towards all of this, going towards this dude right here. Your hunger and intent might not be as strong as you think it is, um, despite the fact you feel tortured and crucified throughout this entire situation. Now, for this knight of pentacles right here, let us see. Hello, kitten. Bitch, what up? Oh, yeah. No, you're not getting on the table. I knew it. All right. This Knight of Pentacles isn't arriving. And it's like I said, you don't have the intention for this person. Okay, because you were tortured and crucified. It's like, they don't have a hunger for you. They're trying to get away from you. Or at least get away from, like, giving you what I think they owe you? In order to come out of this um, situation where they feel tortured and miserable. Six of Cups right here, right? Past person, like a magician, sorcerer, alchemist, somebody who manifests, right? Uh, they manifested some really whack 
uh, like they're pretty greasy people. Extremely greasy. Yeah, and yep, he's here. He's here. So okay, he and the Emperor Reverse up here, they are the same person. So, he might have caused the Empress to go reverse right here, since they're counterparts, right? So, yeah, someone, ah, da, 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 yeah, someone's got some, uh, badness going on with them. Alright, let's clarify, and then we're done, Aries. That's a nice phone. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Aries, I feel like whatever you're dealing with is just kind of like, hmm. Like, you want to fight, you just ain't doing it, because it's like you know better, you know? Uh, lots of cups being spilled up here. Like, you gotta move on, man. Because, like, trying to take those cups back to the same factory is just not going to work out for you. It's actually going to, like, okay, you're lo that's why, okay, no, you're looking at these cups because you'd rather have these cups than start with two other cups, because it'll just lead you to the same bottom all over again. It's like you're staying focused on those cups on purpose. With this, uh, Knight of Pentacles down here, with his situation... He's just completely given up. Like, I, I, like, I feel like... Yeah, he's completely given up, trying to go to calmer waters. I feel like he alienated himself, Ten of Pentacles came up for a minute. I swear, if you climb over this ta this table, I'm gonna just, like, gently put you on the bed. Because, you know, I don't want to, like, hurt you or anything. Like, I know it's a bed, but there are springs and everything. I'm sorry, I'm talking to Kitten. She's doing her thing. All right, last card for this one. Yeah, they are trying to change a damn thing. Like, this Eight of Wands is reversed compared to the one up here, which is, like, what's changing is, like, knowing that this shit was not going to work out regardless. And now down here, it's like, this person is uh, about to try to change anything. In fact, like, they're trying to go to calmer waters, and I think that that's not going to change anything at all for them. I think that's going to keep them stuck perpetually in a, in a situation, you know. It might be one of those things where it's like, you know, they, they, they drew so much shitty karma that... Now, they won't be able to get away with anything until, like, they come back and make shit right or do something to, uh, redeem themselves. One of those things, right? Because that's always how it goes. That is always how it fucking goes. Alright, the Six of Cups down here. And then we are done, Aries. An interesting story for y'all. Enabling behaviors with this magician person. I feel like you're just... If this was you... Aries, I feel like you are exceptionally pissed. Like, I can just feel it just with this turmoil right here. Just exceptionally pissed. Enable behaviors. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Looking over what went completely wrong with this betrayal and how, like, it just ruined the relationship almost, Aries. I feel for you. I really do, because it feels like... You just, it almost feels like you got punched in the gut. That's what it almost feels like. But, that's what I got for your reading for this mid-monthly rate. If you enjoyed my video, thank you very kindly. Uh, you can like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course, but that's up to you. I'll see you guys later. You try to take it easy. Love yous. Bye-bye.